question. This is the heart of the vault. I've never seen anything like it. All conduits converge here, Pathfinder. That must be the lockdown cut. I'm probably missing three more. Sam? Unknown. Though it appears related to the lockdown, an in-depth study may reveal its purpose. The system lockdown is disabled. The vault and the atmosphere processor should return to full operation. Ryder, you fixed the lockdown, didn't you? The whole place is lighting up. Power readings are off the chart. Really, really off the chart. But if it's back online, we should be good.
Tucson is attempting surface reconnection. Come on! Fourth restart is now complete. That was... Talk about a rush! What was that... field? Might have been sweeping the vault, or chasing us. An immune response? Maybe one last scrub before startup? This place is full of surprises. We have to be more careful. That field almost disintegrated us. But it didn't. You want to focus on that or the cool vault you just activated? Atmosphere processor is online. Recovering last console activity. Is that the Helios cluster? Yeah. There we are. That's Eos. Whoa. Did we start in the system do that? If that light is us, then all these points could be vaults on other worlds. Dormant like this one. Maybe. But why is there a whole network of them? What's all this for? Unless the builders show up to explain themselves, all we've got is guesswork. So far, we've seen bots, living plants, atmosphere processors. Back home, some corporation hit a desert world with an ice comet. They changed the atmosphere to bring rain, to help with support life. That first processor we saw was making things worse, but maybe it malfunctioned. Is that what these builders were trying to do? Make worlds habitable? Even terraform a whole cluster? Hey, look there. It's different. Maybe it's active? We've got to go see. Sam? Extrapolating. These coordinates lie beyond the space we have currently surveyed, Pathfinder. Mark it on our charts. We need more to go on. Let's head up to the surface. I could use some fresh air. Look at that sky. How? No atmosphere processor works that fast. If this effect is representative, Pathfinder, air and moisture patterns will show noticeable improvement. EOS could support an outpost. Even without the storms, it'll be a struggle for a while. But we can tough it out. This remnant technology could be the key to our survival, if we can control it. You can. Kind of. Still, wouldn't hurt to find a manual. We've got a lead. Sam marked it on the charts down there. That site is active, whatever it is. Who knows what we'll find there. We? You want to come along? I want to know what makes the Remnant tick. You've got a key to their technology. Or a crowbar, at least. <sighs> Welcome aboard. We'll get you a fancy job title to go over your bunk. I only need a footlocker. Data pad, toothbrush, clean underwear, that'll do. I'll catch up with you. Well? Now for our new outpost. You have already logged an ideal site. Nav point noted. Updating Tempest. The Nexus is on pins and needles, Ryder. Pods are inbound and ready. Let's go make it happen.
out for anything big and hungry. Resilience is more than a name. It's our duty now. A lot of smart people here once. We're their successors. Radiation levels increasing. Radiation levels normal. Yalar Thysa. Records updated, Pathfinder. Maybe we could push the cat back. With what army? Can you even find the safety of... I'm just going through the options. Evacuate or die. Those are the options. <sighs> Initiative's not military. They weren't prepared. Got a component for Site 2's project. Schematics for Special Project Sigma. They were building something, but there are parts missing. This must be the project they were salvaging at Site 1. A way to fight the cat.
radiation levels increasing. Tighten up, Costa. I'm not getting flanked because you're distracted. Do you prefer Batarian Flood, Roman Column, or Elcor Core? Just pick one and stick to it. formations like this made a lot of kids think of alien worlds. Got them all. This is where Chief Reynolds died. Sandstorms would have buried the body long ago. I suggest scanning. Parkins. Pathfinder, there is an armor piece buried deep, a leg bracer. Scan indicates tissue and bone fragments clinging to it. DNA identified as Chief Reynolds. Indications suggest his body was torn to pieces. So the Chief became Karkin food. Circle of life can be gruesome. The remaining armor will be scattered, or perhaps brought to a nest. The chest piece and his Omni tool may explain his death. Then we keep searching and scanning. Another armor piece, Chief Reynolds' helmet. The search continues. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Remnant have overtaken this area, Pathfinder. It may be worth investigating. This is resonating now. Probably with the vault. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Pathfinder, the scanners picked up Chief Reynolds' chest piece. Confirming single shot. Unable to determine weapon type, but entry point was at the back. Exit blast through the chest. By all accounts, Nilkum was in front of the Chief when he fired. So it wasn't his shot that killed him. The Chief's Omni tool might shed some light.
picking up additional armor scraps. I believe it's a trail leading to a cave nearby. Could be where the nest is located. It's a carcan nest, all right. Fan out. Got them all. Confirming initiative equipment, including Omni tool assigned to Security Chief Hiram Reynolds. Accessing the power it up, I can the scanning data. at the time of death. The scan picked up two shots. One, a standard initiative rifle report, which missed. The other from behind, a Ket pulse weapon. This proves Milken is innocent. He didn't shoot Reynolds. Seems clear to me. Good work. Pathfinder, there is also an audio recording. Go ahead and play it. No! Where's Nilkin? Sorry, old friend. Had to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. That sounds like... Confirming. Voice identified as suspect, Nilkin. So he did not kill the chief. But he meant to. Need another chat with the man. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. More of PB's remnant technology. Ahead. They appear to be fighting a Krogan. Is that... Drac? Radiation 
position within safe levels. Life support restored. Nice headshot. Get ready to fight! Ryder, about time you joined the party. Clear! Here they come! Telling me. <laughs> you could really handle yourself, kid. And I hear you're the one to thank for clearing up the sky. Had your number all wrong. You're not so bad yourself, old man. Maybe we should work together after all. This fight was pretty good, but you're still Nexus and green as a drill. Still, something tells me you've got potential. Be ashamed to waste that. I'm in. <laughs> Just point me to your ship and try to keep up. This is gonna be great. outpost. A real beginning. Prepping deployment order. You must choose what purpose this new outpost will serve. The Nexus doesn't get a say? Resources are at a crisis point. Protocol states this judgment call falls to the Pathfinder. With current supplies, you could build a military outpost focusing on defense and militia training. Alternatively, a scientific outpost could advance the initiative's research and discoveries. What do you think? Military outpost or scientific? Pathfinder's call. But research is no good if we're dead. Military. It's got to be science. Our colonists need to understand their home. Be advised that the first outpost placed by a Pathfinder will be a statement in itself. Fair or not, your choice will represent the initiative and its intentions in Andromeda. Consider carefully. military outpost. We defend our own against the Ket. Or anyone else. Orders prepped. Ready on your signal. Andromeda Initiative, this is Ryder. Pathfinder. EOS is ready for deployment. <laughs> Copy that. Outpost block inbound. And ready as hell. August Bradley, operational head for this block. Mayor now, I suppose. We're ready to make the most of what you delivered. It took a lot of people to get us this far. That's the work you'll continue. I hear that. Rodromos. That's what we're calling her. The Iga. 
I haven't seen Eager for months. Eos is far from golden, but now it's defensible. Arguing that choice will come later. They think you did the impossible. The Nexus. I warned them, hoping was... irresponsible. You proved me wrong, Pathfinder. I appreciate your candor. We're all on the same side. I wouldn't go that far. The Reality Rider? You brought us time. But one outpost on a long-shot planet won't stop us from starving. You already have a lead on... something else? The nav point from the... vault. Now it gets complicated. The others are ready to officially sanction your efforts, to be a part of your success. We all want the initiative to succeed, but after failing for so long, no one agrees on how to do it. Be aware, that's all. I don't care why anyone helps, so long as they do. I've heard that before. Talk to Bradley. Later, we'll go over the extended job of Pathfinder. Until then. Tan's waiting on the Nexus. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Radiation levels normal. Sorry it came to this, Pathfinder. 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 Jacob Mitney, Research and Development. My team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Sounds useful. Good thinking, Mitney. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Scrounge safely, Pathfinder.
finally solid ground. An actual something. Flight to wake up to. This is great. You won't be saying that in a few days. Drill starts at 0600. Padromos reports their defenses are online. The cat don't pull their punches. With colonists on the line, neither can we. Try chatting with some soldiers at Padromos. They're a straight-faced bunch. Hi. You haven't got a fuel cell, have you? The quartermaster says there's plenty, but she would. Wait. Oh, shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Fox, Chief Engineer for Padromos. Anything you need, ask away. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. The remnants are a wild card, but Bradley says you have them covered. It'll take work, no question, but I think EOS is really going to be something. What do you do here? My team gets things going. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering. Boring stuff, unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to... do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative was my best chance. What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. Bye, Fox. Have a good one.
Another memory trigger? Yes, though my memory array remains locked. Additional triggers are required. Mayor Bradley. Pathfinder, good to see you. We're busy as anything thanks to you. Bit dusty, but we can adapt. It's worth it when it's your own. Let's not drive people too hard. Rough enough getting this far. Nothing you see here came from cracking a whip. Everyone is just ready. You go do what you need to on the Nexus. Follow that dot. There will be more to do on EOS later. Some key positions? Connor Supply, Ramirez Medical, Abram Science, Fox Engineering. With them and my Major Domo, we won't end up like Site 1 and 2. I combed the first two outpost attempts. Those people died trying. And they deserved better from the Nexus. That's where I point the finger. We'll remember. You changed this planet, but that doesn't make it easy. We'll use the efforts of those who went before. Good people, every last one. I'd have been honored to fail with any of them. Looking back isn't a good use of time. We have to keep building. Keep is generous. We have to start. Real building, not just survival. Oh, and Pathfinder, this is for you. It's our flag. Hang it where the Nexus can see. It's touched the soil of our first outpost in Andromeda. Make it real. Head for the Nexus, Pathfinder. Retromos will have more. Pathfinder, Major Domo Evan Bell Scott. I have headaches so you don't have to. Rather, so Bradley doesn't have to. I've also coordinated with your cat expert. He wanted me to remind you to find him. I didn't assign a cat expert to Prodromos. And he's a hell of a self-motivator. Here's the nav anyway. Precision is important. How did you come to the initiative? Like many, I was lost and looking for a purpose. That sounds loftier than it felt at the time. I was an insufferable ass. The training for the trip was probably enough to cure me of it. But I always took things too far. Didn't know how to stop alienating people until I was the alien. <laughs> See? Still insufferable. Sounds like you left some interesting circumstances. I miss the family, and maybe they miss me. But that doesn't mean I'd go back. I mean, we can't, but still. I like where I came from. It's a great place to be from. You know what I mean? I know exactly how you feel. Couldn't wait to be from somewhere. Like a bullet leaves a gun. Sometimes you just gotta go. Where'd you launch out of? The pale blue dot, Terra Prime. Big old boring Earth. I miss... I miss that wet dog smell after the first snow melts. I don't know why. What about you? Miss anything? Things were easier. So much already built. We get to do it all again, for good or bad, I guess. Better get it right. Another time. Of course. Pathfinder, I hear you're to thank for a physics-defying atmosphere processor. That's me. I'm Ryder. 
Hayley Abrams, Director of Scientific Research on EOS, and writer of papers that start what the hell weather. Since we're prioritizing military defenses, we may be asking that question for a while. But new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? How do you feel about EOS having a military outpost? Honestly, I don't like it much. This isn't what the initiative's for, is it? We need to study EOS, understand the remnant tech, but our budget's earmarked for military research. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? I don't believe so. Sadly, our equipment is tuned for incoming enemies, not watching the skies. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. I've got to go. Keep up the good work. Uh, Pathfinder? Mind giving me your opinion on this? I'm planning classes for our first school, when we have one. Some say we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. All irrelevant now, apparently. <laughs> we were all shaped by that history. Our children deserve to know how and why. Agreed. Maybe you'll change a few minds. Thanks for stopping. August said you might swing by. Raiden, yes? Dr. Ramirez, run the clinic here on EOS. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. 
I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? Why did you join the Andromeda Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the Initiative, suggested I consider it. This seems like a better frontier. What's the latest from your clinic? Usual checkups for first thing colonies. Plus a few cases of dehydration and some blindness. Nothing serious. What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. What's it like living in our first successful outpost? Reminds me of my Alliance days. These soldiers look so young. But they're eager. We know we'll make this work. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. Someone left a warning. Looks like a work crew thinks they can take control of the remnant. That's the recipe for trouble. Work crew rosters are posted publicly. The data pad mentioned Med Bay. A little work, we could find where to catch up with them.
I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. The sand may be from several locations. I need more data to form a conclusion. Rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings. Assigned to set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Only one location matches the sound from the medical equipment. A monolith. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 